With so ground conditions across most of Ukraine, severe mud is highly likely slowing operations for both sides of the conflict, says the UK Defence Ministry in its daily intelligence update, adding that Russian online outlets, however, are likely exaggerating the overall impact of mud on Ukrainian forces as part of an information operation aimed at raising Russian morale and undermining Ukraine's supporters in light of an anticipated Ukrainian counteroffensive. Surface conditions can be expected to improve in the coming weeks. The threat from mines probably continues to be a more important factor in limiting the competence off-road maneuvers, says the UK Defence Ministry. Russian forces continue assault operations in and around Bakhmut. The Ukrainian general staff reported that Ukrainian forces repelled 22 Russian attacks in the Bakhmut direction, specifically in Bakhmut city and in the area of Hromove, two kilometers northwest of Bakhmut. Kremlin-affiliated mill bloggers claim that Russian conventional forces attempted to advance towards Stupochka. This is about 14 kilometers southwest of Bakhmut, while Wagner Group forces continued to attack Ukrainian forces from central, southern and northern parts of Bakhmut and tried to advance towards the highway that runs through Hromova into Bakhmut. The Washington Post reports that according to previously unreported classified U.S. intelligence documents leaked, in January, Washington warned of the potential encirclement of Ukraine's forces in Bakhmut and suggested Kyiv should cut its losses and let the city go, saying Ukraine would not be able to hold Bakhmut against an onslaught of Russian mercenaries.